Okay, let's do a kombucha tutorial. So you need a jar, a gallon jar. I'm using one that looks like this. That's the quantity that I've been making. You need black tea. That's what I've been using. You don't have to use this brand, but it's been tasting nice. So as long as it's black tea though, apparently the scoby likes black tea. So then I get a boil water and I get a big pot and I put in eight tea bags and 10 cups of filtered boiled water. You let that sit for one hour and let the tea seep. At the end of the hour, I take the tea bags out and I just put them aside and you dissolve one cup of white sugar in the seeped black tea. I then put that into the gallon jar and the leftover tea bags, there will be some space in the gallon jar. So put some fresh filtered water back into the pot and rinse out the tea bags just to get out the rest of the tea. There won't be a lot, but it's just less wasteful, I guess. Uh, and then you top up the gallon jar to about an inch below the lid line, maybe two inches or an inch and a half, <laughs> something like that. Uh, and then you put the SCOBY in and you cover the jar with some muslin or um, I'm using a tea towel, but something that's breathable that just keeps the dust out, but that can still breathe. And you just set it aside in a dark, warm spot uh, I've got it between the microwave and the coffee machine. It seems to be doing quite well there. And you leave it for 7 to 10 days. That's it. You'll know it's done when you give it a bit of a stir and it'll be a little frothy, a little carbonated, and you can taste it. Um, if you've left it too long, it'll go very vinegary and it won't be very nice. So to harvest your kombucha, you then just remove your scoby, put him in a little jar or a little bowl with a cup of your brewed kombucha. Then just set that aside. And then what I did to flavor it was I then added like a cup of raspberries. Uh, we're going to try some pineapple or ginger and lime soon. I'm not sure exactly what quantities they are, but we'll work that out as we go along. So then you just let it sit for another couple of days and then I strain it. You can drink it with the fruit in it. Uh, the raspberries kind of lose their color and they go a little brown looking, so they probably don't look super appetizing, but they... Uh, Apparently it's quite okay to consume the fruit, but I usually just strain it out. And then you put it into the fridge because that stops the fermenting process or it slows it down at least. So then it's not going to go really vinegary. Uh, and then you just make up another batch. You, when it's cooled, replace the SCOBY with the cup of your previous mixture and the cycle just keeps going.